Hi, I'm Sean Dye. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite sketching techniques. It's called oil transfer. And when we do the oil transfer, we're actually going to add a little bit of extra color with oil pastels. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a dark. So I have two of my uh, whole body oil colors here. I have uh, sap green and alizarin crimson. They're opposite colors. So they're going to give me a nice, rich, dark neutral. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of sun-thickened linseed oil. This is going to make the paint a little bit more workable. I'll work that right into the colors. I have some colored paper here. And these are uh, just sort of scraps. I made sure they're the same size. What I can do is I can take my paint and I'm going to use my palette knife to cover one side of one sheet of this paper with this neutral uh, dark color that I mixed up. Now you don't need too much paint, so you want to have full coverage throughout the paper, but you don't want, you can see there's some thick areas and some thin areas. So I'm going to kind of scrape it down so I don't have too much thickness there. So your paper doesn't slip too much. You can take a little bit of artist tape and you can put the two sheets of paper together. You want to be careful not to put too much pressure on the paper uh, because we don't want to put too much of an impression in yet. Now behind me on the easel here I have a little photo reference. It's a small fall scene that I took in Vermont. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ballpoint pen and I'm going to draw. I'm going to make sure you keep track. I'm drawing on the paper that has the paint on it, okay? And that's going to transfer an image to the other sheet of paper. is dying a little bit, but I can still see my shapes. do is come back down here and we're going to carefully peel the top layer off and before I take both pieces of tape off I can see if I got enough of an impression. So what I have is kind of an abstract impression of lines. Get, discard your top sheet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've selected some oil pastels here to put in a little bit of color. So it's kind of a cross between a printmaking process and a painting process and a pastelling. It's all sort of mixed in there. 
So if you have areas of wet paint like that that are thick, you just want to avoid those with your hand. And what I'm going to do is just put in a little bit of color now with my pastels. I've already pre-selected uh, a pile of colors here. I'm going to start with the sky. Now you can do it while it's wet like I'm doing now, or you can let the paint dry and you can come back, but I kind of like working it wet because it's, it's immediate and it's fun and you get little surprises. So I'll put the field in the bottom down here next. Now the oil and the oil pastel really like to be on the paper together. They work nicely together. They kind of move in and out of each other. Put some of this orange up in the trees. Got a yellow and an ochre color here. Just put a little blast of yellow up here. I'm being careful not to get rid of all those fun oil lines that I put in. I'm sort of working around them a little bit. Here's a magenta color. I'm going to work that into some of the foliage down here. And I'm going to put a little bit of color on this barn here. A little bit of orange behind the barn. And I have a dark uh, indigo. I can sort of put that distant tree in and maybe reinforce some of my tree branches. So I think if you try this at home, you're going to have a lot of fun. Um, you can learn more about my paintings at shondiestudio.com, and you can see more free art lessons at jerryasartarama.com.